Joe Biden's border czar. She wasn't. She was never put in charge of the border. She was given a much more limited assignment to lead a so-called root causes diplomatic effort trying to address the reasons uh, in Guatemala, uh, El Salvador, and Honduras that people choose to migrate. Now, many Republicans scoff at this kind of fact check. They're like, there were a bunch of articles back in 2021 that called her border czar. Frankly, those articles were wrong. And if you look at CNN's own coverage, not to toot her own horn, but you'll see that the White House and Harris's office consistently, as early as early 21, pushed back on that framing. Quote, unquote, border czar. Vice President Harris was not a border czar. Meantime, Vice President and border czar Kamala Harris facing some backlash. What he said about Harris and immigration was not true. She was never appointed border czar. Uh, and this will be her first visit to the uh, U.S.-Mexico border region since she was appointed as the border czar by President Biden. People going to have to counter the misinformation. You already hear folks talking about the border czar. She wasn't the border czar. President Biden tapped Kamala Harris, Vice President Kamala Harris, to be the border czar. Now, she wasn't the border czar. That's what Republicans uh, labeled her. They were very critical of Kamala Harris, especially in her role as border czar. Now what she's up against is folks lying about her border record, calling her a border czar. Kamala Harris, who was appointed as the border czar. The Biden team didn't declare her the border czar. They wanted her to work on kind of the root causes of immigration. Mm -hmm. There has been so much criticism against Kamala Harris. You know, she was the, the border czar. Calling her sort of the border czar, uh, which wasn't necessarily the case. So the border, if they weren't planning to address it in a major way, do not make her your border czar. She met with some of the Northern Triangle countries, but nothing has effectively changed. One other topic I wanted to uh, talk to you about, but let me just quickly put a button. Okay. Do you have any plans to visit the border? I, I'm here in Guatemala today. I, at some point, you know, I, we are going to the border. We've been to the border. So you, this whole this whole this whole thing about the border, we've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I mean, I don't, I don't understand the point that you're making. I'm not discounting the importance of the border. Well, I, I mentioned I, it because even I, I know Republicans have certainly come at you on this, but Democratic Congressman Cuellar, as a border district, has said to the, you and the president, "Come, you need, I care you need to see about this." Listen, I care about what's happening at the border. I'm in Guatemala because my focus is dealing with the root causes of migration. There may be. Uh, some who think that that is not important, but it is my firm belief that if we care about what's happening at the border, we better care about the root causes and address them. Oh. Why it's Joe Biden? Why is it Joe Biden? Hey there, folks. Oh, Kamala, not sure if you heard, but uh, I'm putting you in charge of solving a little immigration problem down at the Mexican border. Yes, I did hear that. Wow. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. Such a Fun, solvable problem. <laughs> and, and what are you in charge of? Moi, giving out checks. Uh, who wants stimmies? Woo! Now Vice President Kamala Harris is stepping into a new role, taking the lead on the immigration crisis. In months of taking office, Vice President Harris was assigned the difficult task of the border, checking in with Central American governments and trying to get to the root causes of immigration problems in the United States. It has been 91 days since President Biden named Harris as the administration's border czar. Republicans have heavily criticized her for not visiting the border since then, though she has made other trips to places like Guatemala. As the border crisis escalates, President Biden is putting the vice president in charge. When she speaks, she speaks for me, doesn't have to check with me. She knows what she's doing. The work will not be easy. Uh, but it is important work. I want them shut down. I want them silenced. I want them muted. I think.